welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about stadiums that will be obsolete soon. Now by obsolete, I mean they either fit one of two categories. They're either structurally obsolete due to a lack of renovations or just a general bad comparison to newer stadiums or stadiums that have been renovated that were built in a similar era, or they will be functionally obsolete due to conditions that have changed with given franchises. And the first one I'm going to discuss is a stadium that will be functionally obsolete in the near future, and that is Las Vegas Ballpark, a minor league stadium located in Las Vegas, home of the Aviators. And the reason that this is going to be obsolete soon is due to the fact that the Oakland A's will move to Vegas in 2028. Now, people might say both could exist fine, and that might be true. However, I'm not convinced of that because Las Vegas is not a mega market. It's a decent sized city, but it's not New York. It's not Philadelphia. It's not some of these cities that just have these huge expanses of population. So I think when the A's new indoor stadium opens in 2028, this is going to be somewhat of a problem. This new ballpark is going to be functionally obsolete and it won't be able to compete in a certain way because not only is only a minor league team going to be playing there while a new major league team is going to be playing on the other side of the city, that's an outdoor stadium in a very, very hot city during the summer. So you're going to have to sell an outdoor stadium versus an indoor air-conditioned stadium for summertime baseball. Aside from the draw of Major League Baseball, just the air conditioning alone, I think, is going to pull a lot of attendance and interest away from the aviators and interest in this ballpark, even though it's pretty new. I don't think there would have been any chance that this new ballpark would have been built if they would have known that they were going to be getting an MLB team in the not too distant future. Next, I have one you probably wouldn't expect that ranks fairly highly on stadium ranking lists. And I really don't know why, because I have been to this one. And that is Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh. This stadium, which opened in 2001, has not had a major renovation since it opened 23 years ago. It had an expansion, but did not have a major renovation. Aside from some of the views from the stadium and the atmosphere you might have at a Pittsburgh Steelers game, the building itself is very basic. Limited escalators, small scoreboards. It's one of the most bare bones in the league, really. And there hasn't been any major movement to get a renovation done here, which is strange considering that it never has been given a major renovation, especially when comparable markets and stadiums have been renovated or are planning to be renovated, such as Cleveland or Baltimore. So unless they get something done very soon, the stadium is really going to be one of the worst pure buildings in the league. And I'm sure it will get done. However, it does shock me how patient ownership has been with not upgrading the stadium. Next, we have a stadium that is only four years old, and that is Chase Stadium in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So $60 million was spent to build this stadium for Miami CF of MLS. But it was decided from the beginning that this would only be a temporary venue. So you're going to have a stadium that has over 20,000 in capacity and 60 million was spent on it, and it's not even going to be used in the long term because a new stadium is already being built for Miami CF. Now, yes, they do still intend to use this stadium after Miami CF moves out. However, nobody's really going to need a 20,000 seat stadium for soccer in Miami, especially when a new one will be built not that far away. The capacity demands just won't be there for this size of a venue. So as far as capacity is concerned, this stadium will be functionally obsolete fairly soon. And next we have a stadium that is now approaching 60 years old, and that is Angels Stadium in Anaheim. And there's nothing particularly wrong about the stadium right now. However, when compared to most of the other venues of MLB, it kind of lags behind. It hasn't had a major renovation in about 25 years now. And I did go by the outside of the stadium once. And frankly, when you see pictures of it and you just look at it compared to other stadiums, it just looks tired. You know, nothing has been really majorly done to it recently. Other venues have been renovated, replaced, 
more recently than this one. Most of them have. And frankly, given the market attendance and this team's general willingness to spend a fair amount of money compared to other teams, I've got to believe they'll either want some major renovation or replacement in the near future, because given all the other factors that I mentioned, this stadium already is practically obsolete. And lastly, we have Chase Field in Arizona. Another Chase, how about bad luck? And this one, there are discussions about upgrading it, but there's gonna have to be quite a bit done to improve this stadium. The capacity alone is already obsolete. 48,000 is just, you know, that's unheard of for new stadiums of today. The video board is pretty small when you look at other venues. It's fine as it is right now. However, if they don't do some kind of major upgrade, whether it is the seating configuration or the video boards here, it just, it's falling behind and it's gonna be one of the lesser venues in MLB if it isn't already. Again, there's discussions about upgrading it, but there hasn't been any kind of agreement. So we'll see where this one goes. So those are five venues that will be obsolete soon. Let me know what you think and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.